Hello, welcome back to the channel. So a while back, I made a video comparing photogrammetry using Meshroom to just 3D scanning with the LiDAR sensor on an iPhone 12 Pro Max. And each one had its pros and cons. For example, Meshroom gave really good results and I really liked the scan I got using that, but it was kind of finicky. I had to go back and take more photos for the process. Also, it didn't run on all computers. I had to go find another computer to actually run Meshroom on. On the other hand, the LiDAR sensor is a lot easier to use since it's already attached to your phone but I didn't really like the scan I got from it. The results kind of just looked vaguely like a blob in the shape of what I wanted. But when I heard that an app called Polycam had recently added a photo mode, I thought this would be a really good balance between the quality you can get out of Meshroom and the convenience of just using your phone. So Polycam is an app for iPhone and iPad that lets you create and edit 3D captures on your device. Originally, it was only compatible with devices that had the LiDAR sensor on it, so the iPhone 12 series and the last two iPad Pros. But the new photo mode is compatible with any iPhone or iPad that's newer than 2015. Also, one really important thing about Polycam is that it's subscription based. It's $39.99 per year, but for that cost, you get unlimited scans and unlimited exports of your models to your computer or wherever else you want. Personally, I think that's better than the apps that charge you 99 cents per an export, since I find myself doing a lot of trial and error before I get the final scan that I'm happy with. Since this will be my first project using Polycam, I'm going to go for something a little bit smaller, but still full of detail so I can see if Polycam can pull out the smaller features. But I do have plans for future, even larger scans, so be sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss that. But for this video, I'll be scanning this little Christmas tree dinosaur. It's not too big, but it also has some really small features that I'd be interested in seeing if Meshroom can pick up, like the star on the head or the spikes down the back. Also, it has these really small Christmas lights on it, and there's a lot of them, so I'm interested to see what Meshroom makes of that. So opening up Polycam, you're put right into LiDAR mode, and from here, you can either switch to photo mode or exit out into your library of scans. Alternatively, you can also search through the scans that have been made public by other users. For this video, we're gonna focus on photo mode since that is the new feature that was just added. Also, I wanna try and get as much detail as I can. So hopping into photo mode, when you're ready to start scanning, just hit the shutter button to take your first photo. Now you can go ahead and take photos all the way around the object from every possible angle. And I mean all of them, you wanna cover every inch of what you're scanning. Polycam has a 20 photo minimum per scan and a 200 photo maximum, which I have yet to reach. But for the final iteration of the scan of this dinosaur, I ended up using 100 photos. And like I mentioned in my last video, the quality that you get out of your scan is directly related to the amount of effort you put into it. So taking a couple extra minutes to get some more angles of the smaller details will really help out in the end. You can really see the difference between the scan I did with 20 photos versus the scan I did with 100 photos. The more detailed scan obviously has some more details picked up in the lights and the stars. All right, so once you have all the photos, you can go ahead and hit done and you'll be taken to the upload page. From here, you can pick the options that you wanna use for processing like the quality and whether or not you want the object mask. For my scans, I'm gonna set the quality to high and keep the masking turned off. Then you can go ahead and start the upload process. You just have to stay on this page and keep the app open while the photos upload. But once it starts processing, you can close the app and come back later. And the processing also doesn't take too long. In my testing so far, it's been about five to 10 minutes and the app says it should be anywhere from three to 15 minutes. I think the amount of time this takes depends on the number of photos you give it and the complexity of the object that you're trying to scan. And once that's done, you'll be able to download the model and export it in 12 different formats based on your needs. For 3D printing, I'm gonna go ahead and export this as an STL and just airdrop it to my laptop. And Similar to my last video, the model comes into Prusa Slicer pretty small, so I'm just gonna go ahead and scale it up to just something I can work with. Then I can go ahead and rotate it so it's standing straight up, and I'm also gonna go ahead and chop off the bottom little bit of this model since the scan also picked up some of the table that it was sitting on. Now that I have the model all cleaned up, I can go ahead and scale it to the size that's close enough to the original. I think I made it about four or five inches tall. And I ended up printing this on the Prusa Mini with a 0.25 millimeter layer height and 10% infill in gray PLA. And I went with these settings because I didn't need the model to be super strong. It's just gonna sit on a table, but I did want it to print as fast as I possibly could. And in the end, this print came out really good. It looks really similar to the original. I got the sizing and the scale off a bit, but that's gonna happen if you don't measure. <laughs> and you can pretty much make out most of the details that were on this model. The star is pretty much there, it's just missing like a point. And the scales on the back look really good. They were picked up perfectly. Along with the leaves or whatever that thing on the chest of the dinosaur is, that looks mostly there. And the lights, I was surprised by. I didn't think the lights would come out this well. They're not perfect, but they kind of look vaguely like lights. The only issue I had with this model is that the surface is like weirdly textured, but I think that's because the original dinosaur that I scanned had some texturing on the surface, but it just wasn't easy to see, but you could feel it was there. I think the scan might have picked that up. I'm not entirely sure. I do plan on testing Polycam out a little bit more in the future to see if this texturing comes up again or if it's just with this model. Overall, I'm really happy with how this scan ended up. I think the new photo mode is a really good balance between the other 
programs that you can use for photogrammetry on your computer and just scanning with a LiDAR sensor on your phone. And this photo mode is available on other older devices so you can still go out and start 3D scanning things around you even if you don't have the new LiDAR sensor. All right, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like it down below. That does help out a lot. And while you're down there, go ahead and subscribe for more videos about tech, cameras, and making. Here's my video comparing LiDAR to photogrammetry. And here's a video that YouTube thinks you're gonna like the best.